Hey everyone, Michael here, how you doing? So you've got a lot of birds squawking in the background. So I was about to try and talk about Khan Brook. So apparently Amir Khan, I saw an article on boxing seating, Amir Khan was talking about Kel Brook recently. Look, this is this is a very what is a good word to look for? This fight is just 10 years too late. Khan versus Brook. Will I watch it? I look, I might as well watch it anyway because uh, I will watch it because I think Khan and Book are still both, you know, still both good fighters, still world class fighters. But that fight should have happened 10 years ago. And uh, listen, I, I remember 10 years ago, I used to go to their gyms and talk to them. Like, this is like 10 years ago when I actually used to interview people. I, I went to Amir Khan's gym in Bolton, then I went to Kel Book's gym in Sheffield. I met Khan and Book in the same week. Now, I'm not saying it's a show off. But um, yeah, I used to talk to them. I used to, I used to ask them, you know, when are you going to fight Khan or when are you going to fight Brook? That fight should have happened back in 2009, 10, 11. Should have happened then. And you know, I, the last time I met Amir Khan, yeah, I, I remember I, I met him just before he fought Danny Garcia when he got knocked out by Danny Garcia. And also Kel Brook, I met Kel Brook in January, last year, January, before he got knocked out by Terence Crawford. I mean, the fight is way 10, 10 years past what it could have been. Once upon a time, that fight would have been massive. It would have done Wembley Stadium easy. Do I think it still does Wembley Stadium? Probably not. But still a big fight, still a massive fight. So I personally will watch the fight. I, I forget, forget interviewing Khan and Brook. I would love to spar them guys. Because listen, there have been situations in the past when I almost sparred them, but then the opportunity just was not. Sometimes it just depends because if, if these fighters are in training camp, then they do not really want to spar someone like me. And what I mean by me, you know, some sort of novice person who's not really, not really in that caliber. But I believe I can get these sparring sessions. It just just depends on timing. So. You know, I almost sparred Kel Brook last year, but then Dominic Ingle said I was not allowed to spar him because Kel Brook was, you know, it was close to his fight. Yeah, you know, it was close to his fight, and Kel Brook was doing heavy sparring. But but you never know. Hopefully, I can try and get those guys to spar me this year. So let's see what happens. But lo last time I went to Kel Brook's or the Ingle gym, I did spar Liam Williams on camera. But I only did a round with him, and you know, it was alright, it was interesting to spar someone of that world class status, so I enjoyed it. But Khan Brook, who do I think wins? You know, I still think Kel Brook wins the fight because Kel Brook is a, you know, is more comfortable as a welterweight, as, as Brook's at welterweight pretty much his whole career, whereas Khan has gone up through different divisions, so it is a fight I look forward to. It should be an okay fight, so we will see. You know, that fight will probably happen in Saudi or somewhere like that. Because a lot of fighters generally, they basically just want to make a lot of money. So, if the Saudis are going to pay more money, then obviously you're boxing Saudi. Obviously. I mean, to be honest, I would. Like, why, why would you not want to make as much money from boxing as possible? Boxing is a dangerous sport. And while I, I am disappointed that we do not see the fights we want to see, but to be honest, if the fight if the fighters want to go fight in Saudi and make as much money as possible, I have no issue with that. Just as so long as the fights are good fights that we want to see, like we want to see Fury versus Joshua. Like I, I want to see Errol Spence and Crawford. You know, I want to see all these lightweights take each other on. Ryan Garcia, Javante Davis, uh, Teofimio Te Te Lopez, Lomachenko, Devin Haney, like all these sort of guys. I want to see Canelo fight people, fight fight Caleb Plant, fight the Charlos. I want to see Golovkin, I want to see Billy Joe Saunders in these sort of fights. You know, you want to see the best fights. The problem with boxing is that a lot of the fights are just not good fights. They are mismatches, like Saunders versus Murray, or Anthony Joshua versus... Who was it that he beat the other week? Kubat Pulev, he beat him in December. Pulev, was that a fight I wanted to see? Not really. I mean, it was an okay fight. But just not the fight I want. I want to see Fury versus Joshua. Does that fight happen in 2021? The overwhelming likelihood is no. Not while we still have all this lockdown and coronavirus situation going on. Probably not. So, thank you for watching. Let me know. You know, do you want to watch, do you want to see Calm Book? Is that is that fight still relevant? And what fights do you want to see? 
But for me, I think Khan and Book are just just trying to get one last payday. But both these guys have been smashed up more than once. Both of them want to retire, so take care. Thank you for watching.